Wow, I still never get bored of that intro. Every time I play, I have to watch it. Um, I don't know what it's about, or what even anything in it is. It still kind of just looks like symbols to me. Um, <coughs> but anyway, this is my tutorial on how to play the greatest game of all time, Dwarf Fortress. Um, there are many, many other tutorials on how to play this, probably better than mine. But I thought I'd at least try to be helpful and kind of um, pour some more water in a lake and make another one. But this is a video tutorial, which I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of these. So you know, it might help. You never know. Um, also, I'm probably not the best person in the world at Dwarf Fortress. You know, I can play. I can do quite a lot of stuff. But I know there's people better than me. But they probably haven't made tutorials, so screw them. Um, what you'll see right now on this main menu screen is you won't have the top option right now. You won't see continue playing. When I move up and down keys up here, it'll highlight different options. This continue playing one won't be there if you've just downloaded it and are just playing it right now. So just forget that's even there. That's not there. We're ignoring it because it's been bad and we won't give it any attention. <coughs> attention. Also, I have a cold, so if I like sneeze right in your ear, then I apologise. Not really. That's actually pretty funny to think about. I wish I heard. Uh, I do. Um, highlight, create new world now. Exclamation mark. And then just hit enter. That was pretty easy. Um, it will give you the screen that says instability is to be expected. Um, it just says report crashes, hangs, lags, bugs, and general disappointment at the forums. Uh, yeah, I never, I've never done this. You pr I probably should. I don't know if you want to. Um, it also says down there, as of September 2008, you can get help at the fan created Dwarf Fortress Wiki .net. That is a really, really useful site. If it wasn't for that site, I probably wouldn't be playing right now. I probably would have punched a hole through my screen in frustration burnt my computer and ran out and would be leaving a f leading a fulfilling life doing something worth doing instead of playing this game but I didn't and that was probably the better option because this game is amazing um, so what you do now is obviously at the bottom it says F9 to continue so naturally press F9 and then you'll be thinking now whoa what the fuck is this probably be running around the room screaming, just pointing at your screen, just gibbering because you just don't know what this is. But basically what it's doing is generating a world for us to build our Dwarf Fortress in. You don't really need to do anything while it's doing this, just kind of sit back and watch it and then not really do anything else, you, nothing else is needed of you. Um, after it's done, you know, you'll it, it takes more of a time depending on how good your computer is. Um, mine was pretty good, so it didn't. It took about 20 seconds, but it can take up to half an hour. You know, if you have a computer from like the Stone Age. Um, but after this, year, little yellow X comes up that you can move around. You can look around your world, but I doubt you know what everything means, so it doesn't really mean a lot to you. After that, just press Enter, and it will say this crap that you still don't need to worry about, just wait for it to be done. And then afterwards it will take you back to the main menu where we can play Dwarf Fortress. Da -da -da. Right now, this we're going to start paying attention to this start playing now, because this should have come up for you, but that continue playing button, that's not there. That has never been there, it's an illusion, it just doesn't exist. I don't even know what you're talking about. What am I talking about? I don't know, why are we here? Um, so highlight start playing, hit enter, and then you'll get three options, Dwarf Fortress, Adventurer, and Legends. We don't want Adventurer or Legends, so go to Dwarf Fortress, highlight it, hit enter, and then you'll be taken to this screen and you'll be thinking, whoa, holy crap, what the hell, I didn't sign up for this. Well, you did, so deal with it. Um, what you're seeing right now is our world and what we're going to be doing right now is choosing a place for our outpost to be based. So what you need to do is select a location that has the resources 
that you need to survive. If you choose a mountain that only has rock, you're gonna die. Or, you know, if you're like an absolute pro and know what you're doing, you could probably survive, but we're not pros. So, we're not gonna do that. We're not brave enough. It's too scary. I can't handle it. Um, basically, this region bar in the middle just shows you all this crap. Basically, you know, if you have basic perception skills, you could probably make out that the house-shaped grey things are mountains, and the green stuff is vegetation, and the blue stuff are rivers, and the blue circles are like lakes. Basically, that's pretty much all you need to know to get by. Just colours and the shape of the symbols can pretty much tell you what everything is. These purple things over here that I'm moving my thing around, these are goblin fortresses. You don't really want to start on top of those, because they will murder you. Um, pretty much what you want to do, if you're a beginner, is start in a place with lots of vegetation and hopefully a brook, not a river, because that will have carp in it and you'll die. Um, that's a stream, because it says, you know, let's, let's, actually let's start here. What I'm going to do is... Once you've found a place that looks kind of cool, like say over this lake, you can see on the local bit on the left, there's lots and lots of yellow crap and then a box with green stuff inside it. Everything outside that green box is not in our playing area. So at the bottom it says UMKH is move local area. So basically press U for up, M for down, H for left and K for right and then move that box around over an area that you think would be pretty cool so say about here um, also depending on your computer it, it will slow down like the bigger area you have so if you have a really bad computer then you can press shift and then U, M, K or H to make the area bigger or smaller so say if you had like a really bad one you could like have that but that one's cool so we'll have that um, this is so pretty, all, pretty much what you want is to look at this screen and then find a place that looks like this. It might take a while, I don't know, I'm usually pretty lucky with these things. But eventually you will find one. Don't settle for, you know, crappy places just because you can't be bothered. You should always take the time to look for a decent place because then the game experience will be better if you're a beginner. Otherwise, you know, if you're more experienced you might want more of a challenge and look for a place that's downright impossible. I don't really do that, I don't know why you would, it's just frustrating, but apparently it's fun to lose. Um, once you've found a place relatively like this, um, you know, on the right there it says temperature temperate, which warm trees, the woodland, which says quite a lot. Other vegetation, moderate, which you don't really need to worry about. Surroundings are calm, which is quite good, that's no wild animals around to rip our faces off. And then that's the name of the stream, under that hood boring, the uh, smeared mold okay um, and then underneath that is the layers of earth going from topsoil all the way down to the bottom so right at the very 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 top um, is loam which is brown so it's like a dirt it won't give any rock you can grow stuff in it um, underneath that is rock salt which is you know rock and then under that is slate and then under that's gabbro um, this is very geologically accurate. Um, there's igneous layers of rock and um, other kinds I can't remember because I didn't take geography in school. But, um, it, you know, it, that doesn't really matter all too much but it's cool to know that everything is very very accurate in terms of how it works. And then right after that you hit E and then you'll see this but don't worry about it. Hit enter. And then you'll see this. Hit enter and then you'll be taken to the game screen. 